Hi and welcome to day one of the Alexandra Renke Layout Challenge. We are having four sketches for the next four days and I'll have four layouts for these sketches in the next four days for you. But let's start with today. Today is Annette's turn. We are all creating with her sketch. And as you may have seen, her sketch uses a really, really big picture in the middle and some tags on the bottom and some leaves or branches on the upper corner. In the first moment, I was pretty well shocked because I am absolutely not used to scrap pictures in this size on my layouts. I usually scrap tiny pictures and create a lot of back a lot of background with my colors. But on the other hand, the segmentation of her sketch inspired me so much that I immediately began. I grabbed my big printer and printed that A4 sized picture. It's a matte photo paper and I have to say I absolutely love the finish that that matte finish of the picture on the layout I totally have to do that more since that picture is really really big and I absolutely don't like to use that much of my double-sided adhesive tape I glued the picture down with regular print stick and I think that will do its job absolutely fine. After that's been done, I am starting to color some of the tags. My idea was using three different stencils, two with dots or dotish patterns, and one with these bugs and butterflies and dragonflies, because I thought that was pretty a fun idea to use that stencil because we had so many bugs and flies on that hike that they just had to be included. I am using a lighter and a darker green. I think it's mode lawn and pine needles. And I am coloring one third of the tags in the lighter green, one third in the darker green, and I'm keeping one third white to be able to create something like a balanced, well, assemblation of the tags on the bottom. And you'll see me struggling with the arrangement and I'm shifting things around and I just take my time and do that until I'm really satisfied. And after that, I start to glue things down. To glue the things down, I usually use the same tactic. I glue one part straight to the paper and another part of the elements will be raised because I really love that, well, that tiny bit of extra dimension on my layouts. That's why I really, I, I love to use foam tape and these 3D glue thingies. Just because I think it's, it's more fun and more interesting if you have more than just one dimension. And that's what you see me doing now, just arranging and cutting foam tape and again arranging things just until I'm satisfied. While I've been creating this tag border, I've been thinking about the title because on the sketch it was on the tags on the left corner and I tried, I really tried to stay quite, quite close to the sketch, but I couldn't find a thickers or a already pre-made title, which really matched to my idea. I also thought about die cutting a word and maybe heat emboss it to add some sparkle and bling. But in the end, I went with a really, really simple, but in the colors really matching sticker. I think it's a great paper one. And I added that one, well, quite close to the space where it is in the sketch. And in the end, I think I'm, I'm totally fine with that because 
it's about the picture and about the tags and the creation and, and not about a fancy title on that really fancy border of tags. And now it's time to add this leafy element that was on the upper right corner on the sketch. I am using a Alexandra Renke die and as I did before with the tags, I am using 3D foam elements to raise the leaves and I used liquid glue on the stems to make sure that they will stay in place. To finish the layout, I've been simply adding the when and where and that's it. I absolutely love the finished layout and I hope you had fun watching me creating it and I hope you'll join tomorrow because tomorrow is the day of my sketch and I'm really looking forward to it. Have a nice day. Bye.